Take a deep breath. Relax your body, relax your mind. Often that's all that's needed to find that natural space of reconnection that's already here, pouring through your body, never not here. Or how could the source of all that you are not always be here? And when we relax, we relax our perceptions. The filters known as the senses and a conscious thinking mind. And the conscious mind is a bit of a misnomer because what we call the conscious mind is actually the least conscious of all levels. Hence it obscures the most out of all the veils. So when we relax, our connection to the senses for a moment, like withdrawing your awareness from these gateways, these tunnels into the world known as the senses, then you already find yourself in a space, in a state of greater awareness, greater peace, Initially, it may feel like a kind of a peaceful blankness, but that's just a gateway. It's, it won't stay blank. It's just when we initially withdraw our conscious attention from these exits, these bodily exits into the world known as the senses, and we gather our attention, we gather our will. Um, you could say in, back into the heart if you want. It's a good initial step back into the chamber, into the space of the heart. And as you enter the space of the heart, it functions kind of like one of those Harry Potter purses, where there's just infinite space inside this tiny little space of the heart. It has no limitations like the physical body appears to have. So when you withdraw your attention back into the heart, it's actually a portal of sorts into an infinite space in truth. And simply doing that alone, the relaxing of the attention on the senses, which is the automatic state when our bodies are active in the waking state, we're automatically kind of sucked into the senses. But if we gather our will, gather it back, as much of it as we can. And you'll notice there's little distractions that go out, little sort of subtle subconscious frequencies and habits and fears and assumptions about the world and about the people around you and about yourself. And you just kind of keep withdrawing your attention from those distractions, from those assumptions, back into the space of the heart. Relax your body even more. And lovingly withdraw your attention even deeper into the heart. Which again is space. It's like space. The heart is spacious. It's not a physical location, ultimately. But you can use the physical coordinates of your heart a sort of a doorway into this space of the real heart, the heart that knows no bounds, that knows no stuff, that knows no limitation. And then we just rest peacefully, naturally, in the ease of this spacious realm connected to the heart of the body. So then we're simultaneously connected to the heart of the body which is its seat of universal intelligence within the body. But simultaneously, we are also rested beyond the realm of the externalization or manifestation we call the body. So it's a simultaneity of sorts. And you'll notice that you can pivot 
with your attention, you can kind of go either more into that non-physical space for which the heart is one of many portals or doorways. Or you can pivot back to a more physical focus on the heart and the body. And as you play with that, you gain greater control over where your attention wanders. You can take it deeper then by noticing that you can go back and forth and that it's no problem for you to go back and forth between being aware of the physical manifestation of yourself, known as your body and your heart, and that non-physical background that supports, sustains, enables, and bring for brings forth all experiences that you know with the body. So just play around with that for a minute, kind of going back and forth, deeper into the spaciousness where the shell of the body starts to disappear from view. There's more and more an awareness of God in that space, an awareness of the creator in that silence. And also don't hesitate to come back into the physical shell because by practicing the going back and forth, you actually help yourself anchor more in the non-physical space. So don't be afraid like, oh, I should stay in the non-physical space. Don't put any of those restrictions on you. You're completely fluid. All these levels coexist simultaneously within one another. Space and time is an illusion. And the more you grant yourself the freedom, the permission to be aware of the body, to be aware of the senses, then to shift being aware of the subtle thoughts, then entering the heart and entering into that background space. The more you play around with that back and forth, back and forth, you gain greater control and you'll naturally be able to become more simultaneously aware of the endless space behind the heart, behind that little doorway in your body. You're never stuck anywhere. Your attention, your awareness is always free to flow into whatever dimension it so pleases. Such wonderful freedom. You are not bound to physical reality. Never. You are here by choice. You are focused here, able to focus physically by choice, and it's a great gift. It may not always seem that way, but it is a great gift that you chose and that you received. You said, I want to be here. And the council said, permission granted. But you're never stuck in any dimension of awareness. They all coexist already. So there's no need to fear any of the dimensions. No need to fear the physical because you're not stuck there. But also no need to fear or be anxious about dropping into a more transcendental space or a non-physical space or the God space because it's already the case. You're already there all the time. You can't get stuck or lost anywhere. None of the dimensions have any obstacles. You are a free agent, free to flow your conscious attention as you please. And with training, it becomes subtler. It becomes more powerful, more expanded, more aware of all levels of itself simultaneously. And this is something the mind cannot really understand, but you can experience it. You can know it intuitively. This is your great freedom that you're never stuck anywhere. However, as is the topic of this talk, you will continue to experience what you continue to focus yourself on. So if you continue to focus yourself only on the senses, the sense perceptions, the data, the physical facts of your surroundings and so forth, 
combined typically with all the assumptions you've developed over your so many decades of being physically focused and interacting with the human species, which is a very peculiar breed of the creator with very peculiar and unique belief systems about itself and the universe. Combine that all in a package and you have this sense of I'm a human. If you continue to hold that in your focus without interruption, you will continue to perpetuate that sense. You will continue to perpetuate similar constructed illusions or dreams. And it will start to seem really real, almost like you're stuck with what is. Can you imagine the one infinite creator stuck with what is on this tiny little slice of the dreamscape of infinite potential? Of course, that's never true. But you'll create the illusion, the sensation of that through perpetual random focus. This is why concentration and the gathering of your will, your free will, is so important to your well being, to your ability to navigate worlds, your ability to manifest your dreams, the ability to be connected to why you are here because, my friends, you had an intention for coming here. It wasn't random. You weren't just dropped here by accident. You came here completely out of your own volition. And the gift was granted. Your vibration was strong enough. Your desire to be here was strong enough to win over all the other trillion souls that would love to have a go at Earth during its transformational period. So you are here. Not lucky, but blessed by the strength of your own frequency and desire to be here. So let us not forget this when we struggle with life and we pretend like we don't want to be here. Like we pretend we don't like what we're creating. Let us take back ownership of why we are here. Let us rejoice in the gift that was granted when we said we want to be here. Unequivocally, with great strength, that is what we radiated. You asked to be here more than that. You wanted to be here more than that. You knew you would come. You knew you would make the selection because your desire was so strong, so beautiful, so bright, so brilliant. And you knew you would get confused also. You knew the senses would play tricks on you and give you the suggestion that the world is real and that it's solid and that you're kind of stuck here and that what happens to the body is happening to your overall beingness. You knew you were going to fall for that illusion. You knew others would reinforce this idea in you and you knew it was going to take some effort to get back on track. Remember why you are here and train yourself to be able to hold those realities with greater fluidity. You came here because you wanted to recapture your original freedom and more than that, you want to express it to the world. You want to expand it into all of this. And here you are. Here we are. You wanted to play outside. You wanted to play outside your natural state. You wanted to play outside of your remembrance of who you are. You wanted to pretend like you could step outside of yourself and enter a world that was set for you, apparently. Of course, we know this is not really true. But you wanted to play outside of yourselves. So you could have this unique perspective that adds to the expansion of all that is. Such bliss to be limited. Such bliss to choose limitation. And again, of course, we know this is not ultimately real. The illusion of limitation. There's nothing like it in the universe. There's certain lessons, certain expansions that can only be created from this illusion of limitation that simply would not rise. Rockets of desire that would not be launched were you to not pretend to be playing outside of your own soul right now. Now, in truth, again, as you know, 
This entire world exists inside your soul. It's your creation. But there's something to say for the illusions effect on the expansion of the creator's original intent to know and express itself. No place like Earth, my friends, no place like Earth. No place like your life. 